Okay, another linear programming model is on the board. So we have minimize c equal to 3x plus 2y subject to the following constraints 5x plus 7y greater than or equal to 35, 10x plus 4y greater than or equal to 40, x and y must be greater than or equal to 0. So as you can observe, sa maximization model or problem, usually yung constraint ay less than or equal. Samantalang sa minimization, yung constraint niya usually greater than or equal. So kasi minimum, okay? So sa pag-solve ng minimization model or problem, ang goal naman natin or our objective is to uh, obtain a minimum result of Z. Kung sa maximization, pinakamatas na value ng Z, sa minimization, yung pinakamababang value ng Z naman ang kailangan na kuha natin. So, same lang ang step ng pag-solve nito sa kagaya ng sa maximization problem. So, maybe we can proceed. So, we have to graph the non-negativity constraint. So, we have x and y greater than or equal to 0. So, our first constraint is 5x plus 7y greater than or equal to 35. So, to graph that inequality, you have to uh, transform that inequality to an equation. So, gawin natin siya equation, 5x plus 7y equal to 35. So, para mag-graph yan, kukunin natin yung x and y intercept. So, para makuha yung x intercept, just cover y. So, 5x is equal to 35. Divide both sides by 5, we have 7. So, ang x intercept natin ay 7, 0. For the y intercept, cover x, 7y is equal to 35. Divide both sides by 7, so we have 5. So, 0 and 5. So, ito yung x intercept, ito yung y intercept. Okay? So, i-plot na natin yung points na ito. Then, i-connect mo yung dalawang point na yan. Yan ay yung uh, graph ng equation na ito. So, yan. 7, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 0. And 0, 5. Uh, and 0, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, yan. So, connect mo lang yan. Yan ay yung equation na uh, 5x plus 7y is a problem. Since it is an equality sa ating constraint, included yung right side or right portion ng equation na 5x plus 7y equal to 35. Kung yung kanina sa maximization, since ang symbol niya is pagandong pa left, sa left or sa below yung shaded region. Samantalang sa greater than or equal, ang shaded region natin ay nasa right or above. Okay? Next constraint, we have 10x plus 4y greater than or equal to 40. Transform muna natin sa equation para madali natin mag-graph. Equal to 40. Then we can get the x and y intercept. Get the x intercept, cover by the y, 10, 40, divide both sides by 10, we have 4, 0. The y intercept, divide both sides by 4, in 4 ito. So we have 0 and 10. So we plot mo natin yung 4, 0. Yan yung 4, 0. 0, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yan. Ito yung point. Punit na natin. Ayan. So, shaded yung right part na line. So, alin yung alin yung intersection nila? Alin yung intersection? So, baka sabihin nyo, ito yung intersection. No. Since itong line na ito, ang shaded niya is Apunta nito, ito, ito. Yan yung shade niya. Hindi included itong nasa left. So, itong naman na equation na to, or yung line na ito, ang shade niya is ito. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito yung intersection nila. nila. So, 
Ali yung intersection ng dalawang constraint. Actually, ang intersection nila ay ito. Ito. Di ba? So, ang galing natin yung hindi intersection ng constraint. So, ayan po ang intersection nila. So, siguro pwede nyo i-check kung yan talaga yung intersection. Ito yung ating first line. Ayan. Yung shaded niya is pag-anon. Yung kalawa nating line, ito, pag-anon yung intersection, yung shaded region. So, therefore, hindi ito yung intersection nila. So, therefore, to, to get the minimum result, or optimal solution for C kukunin natin yung critical point critical point natin ay ito ito and ito so isa sa atong points na yan yung optimal solution natin so alam natin na ito ay 0 and about this one this one it, hindi pa natin alam kasi ito yung intersection ng line na ito and line na ito so Another point is 7, 0. So, to get the, this point, just solve or solve natin yung dalawang equation natin. So, 5x plus 7y and 10x plus 4y is equal to 40. So, paano, na, paano natin yan? We're so solve. Diba? Sa algebra, we have the elimination method. Diba? So, actually, we can simplify this equation. Ining this ining equation na ini. Pwede natin ma-simplify. So, di ba? Divisible by 2. So, ito ay 5. Ito ay namin yung 2. And this one will be uh, 22. 20. Tama ba? We have divide by 2. Two, 2. 20. Okay. So, pwede na tayo makapag-eliminate ng variable. So, since we have 5, 5. Parehas na yung coefficient ng x natin. So, we can eliminate the variable x. So, simply subtract. 0 na yan. Magigitong 5. Y is equal to 25 minus 20. We have 15. So, divide both side by 5. So, we have y is equal to 3. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yung value ng y, we can use either this equation or this equation to solve for the value of x. So, so for example, gamitin natin yung equation 1. So, meron tayong 5x plus 7 times 3. Substitute lang natin yung value ng y's equation na ito. Na 35. So, 5x equal to 35 minus 7 times 3 is 21. So, 35 minus 21 is 14, right? So, 5x is equal to 14. So, ang x natin ay 14 over 5. For 14 over 5, 2, 10, 4, 2.8. So, ang x natin is 14.5 or 2.8. So, ang point natin, ito ay 2.8 and 3. So, 2.8 and 3. So, since na determine na natin yung critical points, then we can substitute these points sa ating objective function na minimize c equal to 3x plus 2y. So, kung alin dyan yung makapagbigay ng pinakamababang value ng c, yun yung ating optimal solution. So, for the first point, we have uh, 3 times 0 plus 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So, next point, we have uh, 3 times 7 plus 2 times 0 is equal to 21, right? So, lastly, we have 3 times 2.8 plus 2 times 3 is equal to 2.8 times uh, 3. We have 24, 68. So, this is 8.4 plus 2 times 3, 6. 6. 8.4 plus 6, we have 14.4. This is 14.4. So, since 14.4 yung pinakamababang value ng C, therefore, our optimal solution, optimal solution 
is uh, x is equal to 2.8, y is equal to 3, y is equal to 3, uh, and c is equal to 14.4.